Hi, welcome to this new channel where we aim to answer frequently asked questions about the practice of twin and the Buddha's teachings one question at a time. So it will be very short videos. Um, we thought it would be suitable for people who are often in a rush this day and age. Uh, you can ask general questions. Um, you will find the email address below. And uh, if you have personal questions about your own practice, I would uh, refer you to uh, David from the Dhammasukha.org website, who is always patiently willing to answer every question uh, people ask him. And there are also a number of other excellent experienced teachers who can help you and guide you in your own practice. You can ask questions anonymously if you'd like, but we will never share any names on this channel anyway, so we keep your privacy. I'm not an official teacher myself, but I am a long-term student. Um, almost 10 years ago, I became a Buddhist, which was very clear to me the first time I read the description of the Noble Eightfold Path and read a few suttas. It was very obvious to me that these were for the most part practical instructions that the Buddha gave us and they were still applicable in this day and age which is amazing after almost 20, uh, 26 hundred years. I had a lot of different teachers. I practiced all kinds of things. I did vipassana, noting several concentration practices and I practiced metta. And the med meditations were pleasant and sometimes extremely pleasant, but to my surprise I didn't notice any personality change. I had quite a, what they call an aversive personality. I was often irritable, a bit unfriendly, not very patient. And uh, I suffered from many severe depressions all my life. So these meditations didn't change anything. And also what I started to learn was that even though the teachers always claimed they were teaching from what the Buddha himself had said from the suttas, they usually were not. Either they were actually teaching from the commentaries, the instructions in the commentaries, particularly um, from Venerable Buddha Gosa, or they were reading the suttas but giving explanations that ran counter to what the Buddha himself explained. So basically I, I kept looking for teachers who were truly uh, explaining the suttas and teaching from uh, the suttas themselves. And after a number of years, finally, I met Bhantavim Naramsi and Sister Kema, and they were teaching a method called TWIM, Tranquil Wisdom Insight Meditation, using a method they call the six R's. The six R's sound like a really modern invention, but actually they are not. They are the three uh, factors of the Noble Eightfold Path concerning the meditation itself combined. The six R's teach right effort, which basically means 
uh, a method to let go of unwholesome states and um, letting arise and maintain wholesome states. It incorporates also right mindfulness and right collectedness, which means um, teaching the jhanas, but with insight. So not like many teachers do, that you have to go out of jhana and then practice vipassana and then go back into the jhana or, or things like that. Um, it was very clear to me that Bhante was teaching from the suttas himself and Bhante and Sister Kemma were the first ones that could explain key terms uh, in a way that was very clearly what the Buddha meant. For example, the backbone of the Buddha's teaching is dependent origination and it turned out not to be some theological concept, but uh, something that you can actually see both in daily life and in meditation. And also I started to notice really big personality changes where aversion was for a big part completely gone. So this proved to me that this was um, teaching according to what the Buddha teached uh, his disciples and all kinds of people like farmers and kings and Brahmins and uh, merchants. I'm looking forward to seeing your questions. Uh, may you experience yourself through personality changes and may you have and may you experience fruits that the Buddha talked about in this very life. May you be well.